We are given two uh, space curves. And uh, well, a space curve uh, C1 and C2, but uh, the way we uh, uh, we describe this uh, space curve uh, uh, by, is by using position curves, uh, position vectors R1 and R2. Okay, so uh, describe by the position vectors. R1 of t and R2 of uh, t such that I think R1 of t is simply uh, the vector t, t squared, and t cubed. And R2 of t is the vector um, 1 plus 2t, 1 plus 4t, and 1 plus 14t. 1 plus 4t and 1 plus 6a, uh, 14t. Like so. Uh, <clears throat> and the, the numbers may vary from student to student. Uh, there are different parts for this, but um, the bottom line is we need to find the points of intersection. Uh, prior to that, there are questions whether they, the two curves intersect or overlap, uh, but if they intersect or even overlap, so then we, we need to find point of intersection. If they overlap, then we have infinitely many points like that. If they just intersect, we have a uh, certain value of the parameter t. So what, what is the, uh, the idea here? Uh, in order to solve this, you need to realize something that the parameter t for one vector is not the same as the parameter for the other vector. And we've seen that before when we had a problem, uh, uh, one of the section 12.5 or 12.4, 12.5, I think. Uh, you had uh, a vector in t and another vector in s. And we'll do the same thing here. We're going to say that we let r1 of, of t equals uh, t, t squared, and t cubed. No changes here, but r2, in order to make sure that we understand that the two parameters are different from each other, then we'll define r2 in terms of s. And uh, so we have 1 plus uh, 2s, 1 plus 4s, and 1 plus 14 is. And of course, if they intersect, then the, uh, the corresponding endpoints, remember, those are position vectors. So t is really the difference between t and 0, and so on. So at the intersection, uh, they equal to each other. At an intersection, uh, we have the following. The uh, i value of R1 has to equal to the i value of R2, or the x value. So we'll have t equals 1 plus 2s, and then t squared equals 1 plus 4s, and then t cubed equals to 1 plus 14s. So we end up having uh, a system of three equations, but only two variables. So in reality, it's enough to solve um, using the, uh, the first two equations, for instance, and use the third equation to verify the solution. All right? So if we look at the first equation, well, t equals 1 plus 2s, then we'll take the second equation t squared becomes 1 plus 2s squared equals 1 plus 4s. So now we have one equation in, uh, in one variable. Solve it, you get 4s squared plus 
2 times 2s, that's 4s, uh, minus 4s, so no 4s, that, that would be cancelled, and Okay, it's, that's why you ask, Mike, you, you asked me that earlier, okay, because otherwise I'm going absolutely nowhere with this. So now we have 4, and we have 4s minus 6s minus 2s. Thank you for, for the, the, the R2 is 1 plus 6, not 1 plus 4. And then we have 1 minus 1, so this equals 0, the solutions one solution would be when s equals zero and the other solution uh, s equals uh, or two s equals two or s equals one half all right the corresponding value of t since t equals one plus two s so when s equals zero t equals one when n, when s equals uh, one half t equals what two one plus two times one half so we find out the value of the parameters, and what we can do, we can check also the uh, third equation, uh, just for sake of uh, just to be on the safe side. If two t cube, uh, well, let's look at uh, t equals one. If uh, if t cube equals one, then s equals. Uh, I'm sorry. When t equals one, s equals zero. For obviously, one equals one. When t equals two, s equals one half. 2 cubed is 8, 1 plus 14 times 1 half is 1 plus 7, so 8 equals 8. So the third equation checked out nicely. Okay? I might as well, let's write it. So check the third equation. So we check where for t equals 1 and s equals 0. And we have 1 cube equals a 1 plus 14 times 0. And for t equals uh, 2 and s equals 1 half, then we have 2 cube equals 1 plus 14. All right, so uh, the, the points of intersection now is rather easy. Uh, so we can write it, the points of intersections. Again, we have the point that correspond to uh, 1 and 0. So for t equals 1 and s equals 0, then you can see that we have 1, 1, 1 as a point of intersection. And for t equals 2 and s equals 1 half, then we'll have, uh, well, we can check on the t side, and it will be 2, Four and eight. Okay, and check now. Check it on R two. Again, s equals zero one one one. S equals one half. Then you have one plus one. That's two. One plus three. That's four. And one plus seven. That's eight. So, those are the uh, the two points. These are the two points. All right. So uh, this problem wasn't so painful. Uh, once, once you realize that uh, you need to use two different parameters, and most of you who had difficulty with this problem tried to solve for a single parameter t, but that's not going, it won't get you anywhere. Um, <coughs>